Haven't done a Ring of Honor TV review in a while, but here it is. I'm doing one. This is the episode that aired January 26th, 2013. Let's get right into it. Uh, to start off the show, Nigel McGuinness is in the ring with referees and security, and he calls Jay Lethal out to the ring. Now, Jay Lethal has been wanting another shot at the Ring of Honor world title, and he said, or Nigel said, the only way you can get another shot is if you can convince Kevin Steen to give you another opportunity. So Kevin Steen comes out with the rest of Scum as all four enter the ring. So Lethal gets on the mic and he explains how he is hungry. He's ready to take another opportunity and win the title. Steve Carino takes the mic and says, how dare you talk to the champ like that, especially after what happened the last time they met in Rahway, New Jersey, when Kevin Steen spat on Jay Lethal's mom after Jay Lethal's dad slapped him in the face. So Kevin Steen moves up, they get closer eye to eye, and Lethal says that nobody represents honor more than I do, and if you don't face me for the world title, you are not a true champion. You will, you will not be a great representative of all the champions of the past in Ring of Honor. To which Kevin Steen goes out of the ring, and the only words he says are, I accept. So we have the title match pretty much made between Kevin Steen and and Jay Lethal. So after a commercial, we come back. Uh, Truth Martini is with Kevin Kelly and Caleb Seltzer as the next match in the Top Prospect Tournament is about to take place. The match in particular is Silas Young against Adam Page. Now, Silas Young, I've seen many, many times. He's a good wrestler. Adam Page, this is my first time seeing him. He's only 21 years old, and the future is only going to get better for him. Um, Silas Young took, a, you know, took control of the match a lot, um, you know, really setting the tone. But Adam Page, towards the end, was making a comeback, including a very good-looking running shooting star press from the apron onto the floor. It was a very sick move, but it was pretty impressive and pretty effective. Almost got him the win. And the end of the match comes when Adam Page went for Young in the in the turnbuckle. He missed. Uh, Silas Young hit a full Nelson bomb on Page and then put him, or kept him in the full Nelson for um, his finishing move, uh, which is like a full Nelson stretch. And Adam Page tapped out. Silas Young wins. He advances into the tournament. So now we get Charlie Haas, who's in the ring, and he's pissed. If you haven't seen those videos, you got to. They're pretty good. So he talks about how he and Sheldon Benjamin have been kept off the gauntlet match to determine the number one contenders for the tag team titles and how you know ring of honor management will bleep him every time he curses will censor him every time he flips people off and he does that and it's just really great now they're in the middle of this a young man who is a part of the ring of honor uh, dojo you know he's paying his dues he's cleaning the ring up and hoss calls him up so he, at, you know, he tells him, what's your name? Wendell. And Charlie Haas just goes crazy. It's absolutely funny. He's like, man, you make me look hungry. Man, you look like you're starving. You make me hungry. You got to eat a cheeseburger. You know what? That's what I'm going to call you. You are cheeseburger. And, and I swear, this kid <laughs> is a skinny black kid, must weigh no more than 105 pounds soaking wet. And... You know, and, you know, he has to, what, what do you do? I'm a wrestler. And Kevin Kelly explains he's part of the dojo. 
and he says, do you want to fight? And, you know, we're going to get a fight. So Charlie Haas takes his shirt off, and uh, Cheeseburger takes his shirt off. And it's absolutely funny how skinny this guy is, you know, going to fight him. Um, and this was not an official match. Um, you know, they do the code of honor. Haas grabs him, throws him over the head, belly-to-belly -belly suplex, and then he locks in the Haas of pain on Cheeseburger, to which he taps out. And, you know... Charlie Haas eventually breaks it. But it was just a very good segment to push Charlie Haas over as a character. And I think that's the thing that was missing when Haas was in WWE was a character, was a persona. You know, I it's not that he as a, you know, a collegiate wrestler turned pro wasn't a good character, but he just wasn't able to get, you know, enough airtime, TV time. Now that he's got this outlaw character trying to be Stone Cold, it's just really, really good. And I thoroughly enjoy it. Next match is Rhett Titus against Matt Hardy. Titus has his ribs uh, taped up from the New York City Street Fight from Final Battle. Uh, this is Matt Hardy's first match on Ring of Honor television uh, since he joined the company. And I felt bad for Rhett because I think in a way, this was a little bit of a squash match, but he was able to get some offense in. But Matt Hardy just, you know, was just dominating Titus the entire match. And what was funny were a couple of signs um, in the crowd, especially towards Matt Hardy. One was Fat Hardy, you know, that everyone does that joke. The other one was Matt Hardy will never diet, which was pretty good. Um, the end of the match came when, um, Matt Hardy hit the twist of fate on Red Titus to get the three count and the victory. So now we go into our feature match, BJ Whitmer challenging Adam Cole for the world television title. This was a good match, the best match on the show, in my opinion. Um, towards the middle of the match, Matt Hardy made his way up the commentary with Kevin Kelly and Caleb Seltzer, but Whitmer and Cole just had a good match against each other, and it was a good pace of Adam Cole, who could do, you know, athletic moves, and B.J. Whitmer, who's just this strong, hard-headed man, but is so dedicated, you know, he just won't quit. So, the end of the match, which I thought was really good, um, Adam Cole hits a couple of moves, and then he hits Whitmer with a neckbreaker suplex. And, oh no, hold on, let me back up. They, Whitmer hits a superplex on the Cole, but at the same time that both men went on the mat, Whitmer hurt his neck, hurt the back of his head, and the referee, you know, was contemplating stopping the match. And... Cole, you know, wanted to continue. Whitmer got up and he said, don't you stop, you know, you keep fighting you, SOB. So, you know, Cole gives Whitmer all of his moves, including that neck breaker suplex, which looked sick. And then uh, Cole finishes Whitmer off with the Florida Keys, which is a stranglehold German suplex around the waist to get the three count and the victory to stay TV champion. After that, Adam Cole and Matt Hardy stared down each other, and that is your episode of Ring of Honor. Um, gotta say, I like the progress in the Kevin Steen Jay Lethal feud. Um, you know, it took Jay Lethal in a weird way as a salesman to convince Kevin Steen to give him another opportunity at the Ring of Honor World Title, and he did a really good job with that. And, you know, Matt Hardy and Adam Cole, that's going to be a good feud going for a long time, I think. I like the top prospect tournament. Um, Adam Page is a young guy. He's got a lot of potential. Um, I would like to see him in more, you know, other organizations besides Ring of Honor. Maybe Chikara, PWG, um, he, I, so many that he could go to and, you know, get more experience. 
But all in all, this was a good episode. The crowd was really into it. And, of course, the best segment was Charlie Haas facing off with Cheeseburger. It was just very, very good. All in all, a good episode of Ring. Hold on, let me move this mouse. Of Ring of Honor.